Welcome to another video. Okay, so I was trying to post because I know it's going over a week and I'm trying to post every single week, but um, this week there may be two videos if I can somehow get these videos up, but um, here lately it's been really annoying me, but this is a video. It's going to be about Dillard's and stuff. This is a video on... Um, how Dillard's has been so far. I may or may not cut this video, so yeah, I'm gonna cut this video. Anyways, um, but let's get started. Okay, so after orientation, orientation, um, you know, I said hired, almost fired because they were like really weird and skeptical because I didn't have my social security card, so yeah. My first month working, you know, you kinda, you learn, you're learning your, you're, you're learning your boundaries mostly. And that's not that I don't do anything bad or anything, but you know, you kind of learn if you can like, you know, have a snack in your area or have drinks in your area or go to the bathroom or be on your phone or, you know, mentally shop in your head, but you're like, technically really shopping while you're at work so so far I haven't really broken any rules um because like you're messing around with so many things while you're working you pretty much you're it's like shopping it was like I was made for this job it was so like I don't know what but doing like working at Dillard's I've noticed like I kind of I get sick of seeing everything because it's like every day it's like going shopping which I really don't have a problem with it it's like going to your favorite store every single day but knowing everything or knowing where every little thing is and you know when it's been moved and you know when someone's touched it and you know when someone breathes on it like you get that like you know your products and stuff that well yeah it kind of gets a little boring because you get so used to seeing the products every single day and when someone moves it over you like put it back and it's almost like when you clean your room and you don't want anybody to mess it up and you know people keep messing stuff up and you have to keep cleaning up after them that's working at Dillard's um you know if you have siblings and they make a lot of messes and your mom constantly tells you to clean up after them that's working at Dillard's <laughs> I was gonna say dealing with stupid people yeah but um yeah it's it's some people do make it hard every single day um because you when working at Dillard's you realize how many people throw everything everywhere they put purses on the ground that they think is cheap but it's actually really expensive like really why are we doing this or they you know are complaining that it's too expensive and you're like you're in Dillard's you're messing with Michael Kors Patricia Nash Vince Camuto like Italian leather type stuff and you're complaining it's too expensive like go to a Louis Vuitton store and tell them their shit's too expensive like uh -oh. go, go to one of those stores and then tell them it, like go to a Lamborghini dealership and tell them it's too expensive like seriously you're seriously gonna say that and I don't get it like maybe they do you know work in that kind of place and then they come and they see these lower brands that are like super expensive and they're like really like is it that expensive for like this piece of F? like you know but I say it's all good quality stuff. I really want some purses, but I want to wait because I really want to wait for that one purse. It's like saying yes to the dress. If my purse is going to cost more than my wedding dress, I want to make it to where it looks good. You know what I mean? So, um, but that's about the messes and stuff, you know, dealing with clients. And then like today, one client got mad because we had 25% off on Michael Kors purses, but coach also had 30% off and if you buy both of those together then you get 30% off and 25% off individually but you don't get 50% off the whole order if you know what I mean so if you do all together you do a 20% off and then 30% off which this lady thought she was getting it would be 105 but doing it individually with individual you know stuff then it is 
145. So she thought she was gonna get the 105 because it was gonna be 20 and then another 30 off the whole trans or off the whole shebang together, but it's only individually. So like coach was 30% off and my cores was 25% off. So she thought it was gonna be 105, but it ended up being 145 plus tax. And yeah, she got mad because she had to pay like 40 extra bucks and that didn't go well. She got mad. She didn't get it because we explained it to her like 20 million times and she was mad and we don't know how in the, how does that work? If something, cause we said, coach is 30% off. Michael Kors is 25% off. When you put on, when you buy one and the other, it's still going to be the same. It's not going to be 30% off the whole thing and 25% off the whole thing. It's going to be 30 just on coach, 25 just on Michael Kors. And we also said, but we have 25% off if you trade in your purse or trade in any purse pretty much. And we donate the purse and then, you know, you come back and, um, you trade in your purse to get 25% off another purse does not mean all that's included. It just means you have to go, do one or the other. So if you rung in a coach purse and you try to use the 25% off, it's going to cancel it and say, no, you bought coach, which is 30 off. You can't get any more off. So you couldn't get 35 or 55 off. You can only get the 30 off the coach. And then when you added the Michael Kors in on there, then it would say 25 off that one purse. So if you had both of those in there, it would do it individually. So if you did a trade-in purse, you could put the trade-in purse in there and, you know, you had to scan a barcode for the 25% off, then it would use a 25% off for that one purse. So that's how confusing the sales can be, but that's how complicated and like, that's how you, that's what you have to explain that to people and you can't fix stupid to be real. So you kind of have to hope for the best and hope that nobody, um, you know, tries to twist what you say because I've had another lady, she'll sit there and I did not tell her this, but I told, well, I did not tell what she said, but I said, what I said was, um, she asked about sales and when they happen. I said, well, at the end of the month, we do 30% off original price and 65 off of that. Sometimes this month we're doing the 30 off of Michael Kors, 25 off or 25 off of Michael Kors, 30 off of Coach, or 25 to trade in. But you have to buy any, you know, original purse. Anyways, so I told this lady at the end of the month, sometimes we do 60 or 35 off original plus another 65 off of that. She went up to my manager and said, She said this purse is 30% off plus another 65. No, I didn't. They do this to cause confusion or to make it seem like they're confused because I just mentioned it. I don't know why. It's like, oh, well, next month, at the end of the month, we're going to do this sale. She said this month. No, I did not. Apparently, that's frowned upon because you're basically calling them a liar in front of, you know, your manager. No, I didn't. Oh, me a liar? You said that that wasn't true. I swear... I did not say that to you. Yes, you did. You just said that. I oh my God. Really? Manager's like, sorry, ma'am. Sorry for the confusion. Um, yeah. I don't know what you want to do. Just fix it. There's nothing to fix. I'm never coming here again. Okay, you and two other people, fine. Bye. We have like 200 people waiting on you just staring at you trying to check out while you're throwing this fit so that's what I have to do with when it comes to customers um management styles and stuff um I love my manager the accessories part of Dillard's is like the best part I've ever been in like to be on well not the best part <laughs> I've only worked in the accessories <laughs> talking about best part I've ever worked in what the heck but anyways um yeah so far accessories is like amazing um it's pretty much just cleaning up um 
making your sales with your quota um, my quota has been like a thousand nine hundred or like two thousand some days um, sometimes I do not make my quota other times I do um, I try every single day to make over my quota because if you get a return that counts against it too so if you make your quota for the day but somebody does a return and it knocks it down then you have to try harder the next day because it'll it'll add on to the next day so it's kind of like rollover so it rolls over onto the next day when you go under but if you go over it starts all over so it sucks I know so if you sell like ten thousand dollars worth of stuff one day you're gonna go back down to zero the next day so if you make your quota for that day it does not roll over to the next day it just starts all over so that's Stop licking my night, or my night nightstand, my tripod. Kimber's over here licking my tripod, so that's why it's probably shaking. Thank you. Oh, now she's laying on a pillow on the floor that Josh has left. She thinks she's spoiled. But anyways, um, so it rolls over onto the next day if it's negative. So if you do not sell a hundred, or if you are, if your quota is a hundred for one day, and then a hundred of the next, but you didn't sell a hundred that day, then the next day it's gonna be two hundred. If that makes sense. So. And then, um, so yeah, my manager is awesome. She's really sweet. As long as you get your stuff done, she doesn't really care. Um, if you do, if she doesn't like you, it's really hard to tell. What am I trying to say? She loves everybody, to be honest. Like, she treats everybody like her children. Like, she's very, um, she's a little bit older than us. Um, so she definitely has that mom figure on us. More like her children. And she just gets on to us and stuff, but she doesn't hate us. Um... Some people do annoy her a little bit more than others, but you know, she doesn't let that show. She's really nice and everything. Then there's the store manager at first. There is like, you know, there's always rumors. Like some people say, oh, she's, you know, rude. She's mean, vile, a demon, and you know, a bunch of awful things that people call their managers. When I've encountered her, like she's been super sweet. It's whoever made her mad was I know it was a stupid reason because it's like a bunch of younger kids and I always feel like when they make her mad then that's when like the whole day is just awful because they're not doing what they're supposed to be doing instead they're just you know twiddling their thumbs looking around like they're stupid or something but it's really easy working at Dillard's as long as you're doing what you're supposed to do it's fine hope y'all enjoyed this if you want any more Dillard's like things like just let me know hope y'all didn't mind my messy bed or our messy bed because like we have our quilt on here which this quilt is so nice i love quilts we have of course have the camera oh, and then i have food right there too i just wanted to do a video just so y'all knew that i was still alive and not neglecting my channel so keep subscribing keep sharing let your friends know